feels really good. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. But I couldn't have done it without the team because they pulled through today. It was really nice. So, I mean, take me through your, I mean, you finished up with number two doubles. Uh, and, I mean, your partners at number three are still going on. What's, what's going through your head as you finished up and was watching the end of that match? They can do it. I know they can do it. And they did it. And now we're going to state. Totally knew they could do it. It was just a lot was on the line, and they pulled through, and I'm so proud of them for doing that. What's this? I mean, you guys had a 4-2 lead after singles. Uh -huh. Red Oak looked like they had all the momentum there at one point there, late in doubles. I, I mean, just take me through. I mean, what, what's to say about you and this team to, to be able to get through here? Um, I'd say we definitely fight back. We never give up. Um, we knew that it was going to be tough going in, and we knew that like even if they get um, the first set, we just have to fight back and get the second set because that's the most important, get the momentum going into tie break. There's really no way you can describe the feeling. I thought you against Michaela there in that singles match might be a big one to determine who wins. Uh, and I mean, is there any other pre any added pressure in a match like that against one of their top girls too? Yeah, because I mean, anyway, the like cookie crumbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just take me through that match. I mean, it was close first set. You kind of pulled away late. And, uh, just things start working a little better for you, or how were you able to pull away there at the end of that second set? I think I woke up a little bit and realized okay. what was on the line. When we started going downhill and Red Oak was going, beating us like those seven games, mm -hmm. we weren't communicating very well. We were frustrated. And I think during the second set, we realized this is really important and we know we could beat them. We just had to pull through and get our heads in the game. And then we did. <laughs> Take me through your singles, too. I mean, you kind of it seemed like a pretty similar match to what Sarah had. It was a pretty close first set. You kind of pulled away late. Is that kind of you just feel like things just kept getting a little better in that one? Yeah. I feel like I, there was just, I was really nervous with the first set and then the second set. I jumped on it early and took it from there. What's this feel like to be able to get to state? It feels great. <laughs> like everything starts getting all nerve-wracking and you're just really hoping you can pull through. And... So you won, ended up winning the second set pretty easily. I mean, take me through that the, the huddle or whatever it was right before that tie break. I mean, what, what were coaches saying to you? What was try, trying to get you to, to get to 10? Well, they just told us that it was state. I mean... That's the only way we could make it to state is if we won. It was really good because this is two sports in a row for me, so that's a really big deal, and uh -huh. it's kind of indescribable. So, so take me through. I mean, you're finishing up there in doubles. Uh, you see that. I mean, obviously you still knew the other match was going on, but uh, take me through how how you were feeling there as that final doubles match finished up. Um, I was frustrated that I don't know our doubles didn't go as planned, but. Okay. Jordan and Jordan have really good chemistry, so I knew they could pull through.